Instead, we'll talk about another individual making headlines in Pakistan. Her name is Cynthia Ritchie. In the month of June, this Pakistan-based American blogger accused a former Pakistani prime minister of manhandling her. She also claimed that a former minister raped her. Three months on, Cynthia Ritchie is being asked to leave Pakistan. Islamabad has refused to extend her visa. The blogger has been given a 15-day deadline to pack her bags and leave. And this exit will leave behind a series of questions, starting with, who really is Cynthia Ritchie? Is she a CIA agent or a journalist or a lobbyist? What was she doing in Pakistan for nearly a decade? And how was she so close to Pakistan's political and military elites? She's being named, shamed and blamed. Her name has become synonymous to sex and scandals in Pakistan. Cynthia D. Ritchie. A quick Twitter search and you end up on this account with a blue tick. Her Twitter bio says she writes for E-Tribune, The News International and The South Asia magazine. She claims to be a blogger does not mind being called a journalist. It was in May this year that Cynthia Ritchie made news. She accused Pakistan's former Prime Minister Benazir Bhutto of condoning rape. Soon, there were cybercrime complaints against her. Within days, she accused PPP leaders of rape and manhandling. In the line of fire was former Interior Minister Rehman Malik. She accused him of rape. Ritchie also accused former Prime Minister Yusuf Raza Gilani of manhandling her. The same allegations were pressed against former Health Minister Makhtoum Shahbuddin. By June 2020, the name Cynthia Ritchie was being followed by a series of questions. Who is she? Why is she in Pakistan? And why at all was she in touch with such high-profile names? What explains these photos? We did a little research and this is what we found. Cynthia D. Ritchie is a 44-year-old American. She has been living in Pakistan for nearly a decade now. We can't say for sure why. Some call her a showpiece of the military. It is no secret that ISPR pays foreigners to paint the military in a good light. Was she one of them? In one interview, Richie says she came to Pakistan to highlight the sense of normalcy in the nation. She has 293,000 followers on Twitter, 350,000 followers on Facebook. She's pretty popular on YouTube too. Despite her popularity, not much is known about this American woman. On Facebook, Richie says she's a film director. Click on About and it reads. Cynthia is a freelance director, producer, writer, currently working on an international travel series. The question remains, what is she doing in Pakistan? In an open letter to Facebook in 2017, Richie claims that she has taught social media to a government organization several years ago. I consider myself to be a peace activist, she says. In 2013, Dawn listed her as one of the 10 Americans doing great things for Pakistan. It says, Richie participated in a variety of humanitarian projects in Pakistan, including flood relief, healthcare projects, reconstruction of high schools and a women's health clinic. We will be honest, Cynthia Ritchie is all smoke and mirrors. There is no clear answer for who she is or where in the US is she from. The buzz online is that she may be a CIA agent. Maybe that's not true. What then was Ritchie doing before she came to Pakistan? Again, no answers. Is Cynthia D. Ritchie a socializer or CIA? Or is she just a lobbyist? The truth is likely to show its face once Richie is deported to the US. Wait for 15 days or less.
ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट वी ऑन वर्ल्ड इज वन